Welcome to another edition of the UMHGNN, the Good News Network. I'm Marissa Salveson, Manager of Mission Development, and alongside me is Beth Shavy Bemis, Vice President of Sales and Marketing, and we will be your hosts today for another episode of Good News. This is episode six of your favorite Good News broadcast. Six episodes! If you have missed one, or if you haven't seen all six episodes, make sure you head over to our UMH YouTube channel, UMH Caring, so you can get all caught up on all the good news you missed. We know you might have a little bit of extra time on your hands these days, so be sure to do that. Now let's get to the good news. Beth? Thanks, Marissa. It's no secret that Mother's Day was just a little bit different this year for all of us. But thanks to the commitment of our amazing UMH team, there were plenty of creative celebrations to make Mom's Day feel special. From traveling tea parties at our Middlewoods of Newington community and our Lifestyle Transitions neighborhood, to sidewalk messages at Middlewoods of Farmington, to porch visits and window visits at Bishop Wiki Healthcare Center and Crosby Commons, Mother's Day was filled with loving touches. Celebrations at our Crosby Commons community were also accompanied by champagne, roses, chocolates, plenty of sunshine, and even a visit by pianist Larry Batter, who set up his keyboard outside to serenade everyone. Chef Hector prepared a fabulous brunch envied by all. Crosby Commons family member Maureen Millward shared, I just want to say thank you for the wonderful Mother's Day celebration we were able to have with Roz. So festive to have champagne, live music, and red roses. It really was nicer than any of us expected a socially distant Mother's Day visit could be. We thank you and your staff for always doing an outstanding job. And to UMH payroll specialist, Peggy Forrest, Mother's Day was extra special. Peggy's daughter, Danielle, got engaged. Who doesn't love a good marriage proposal to make you smile? And on Mother's Day, no less. And what's better than a marriage proposal to make you smile? Okay, let's be honest. Who wouldn't want to have an ice cream, please, sign on their mailbox right now? We all would, unless maybe you're allergic to dairy. Our Wesley Heights residents enjoyed ice cream delivered to their door this week thanks to contactless delivery by Activities Director Linda Farah, who always makes sure that our cottage residents know that we're thinking of them and checking in. I'll tell you, there's no question that these times have been tough, but ice cream delivered to your front door is a pretty sweet deal, don't you think? Good. I'm glad we all agree. Mm. Right? Mm hmm. Ice cream to your door? I mean, come on. Nothing better. Middlewoods of Newington had some special outside visitors this week. Many thanks to Crawford and Madeline Kessel, children of Executive Director Stacy Kessel, who stopped by for window visits shared handmade signs, smiles, waves, and some encouraging words for our staff too. Thanks Crawford and Maddie. And how sweet is this artwork sent to us by the Cavallaro children? Our residents at Lifestyle Transitions have been enjoying your hearts, rainbows, and thoughtful messages. Thanks for sharing such kind words and beautiful pictures to make us all smile. And now we'll take a quick break to bring you today's weather report. <music> to the GNN. My name is Owen Salveson. I will, doing, I will be doing your weather report today about the weather. Today is um, partly cloudy, 66 degrees. Looks like we're going to get a couple rain storms tomorrow. And for those of you who missed last week's episode of the GNN, we showcased our team at Bishop Wiki in celebration of National Skilled Nursing Care Week and what a week it was. Celebrations were a little different for our team this year, but not without a heartfelt display of love. 
for our team. A staff appreciation breakfast was organized at Bishop Wiki for all team members with to-go options for our overnight shift and on-floor deliveries for each pavilion in the building. It was a real hit. Along with the National Skilled Nursing Care Week theme, Sharing Your Wisdom, staff offered words of wisdom, gratitude, and inspiration to each other on the wisdom board that was on display throughout the week. We spotted a few messages to share. To Joyce Reeling, thank you for sharing your strength. You are a team player from the very beginning. You're the best. Jen K, you are wonderful. All of your work is appreciated. And thank you, Team Steves, for everything. Staff even caught a video of the National Guard flyover Operation American Resolve in salute of Connecticut's healthcare heroes on Thursday, May 14th. to spot the Guard C-130H aircraft. Thank you to our Connecticut National Guard and all the healthcare heroes serving and caring for so many during these times. Prizes, special beverage deliveries, trivia, and bingo provided smiles and fun throughout the week to lift spirits and spread cheer for all of our staff. Special brown bag lunches were prepared for each team member, complete with a special note to let them know how important they are. Our weeks and tribute also included a cheer line of staff, volunteers, and UMH board members who graciously showed up to offer thanks and appreciation for our team on Thursday, May 14th. And if you weren't sure how loved our Bishop Wiki team is, well, maybe this will have you convinced. Yes, Okay, I think you know what time it is, right? You know what time it is? You know what time it is. It's Caring Superheroes time! Caring Superheroes! You're getting good at this. First of all, we just wanted to give a shout out to the team at Optum for the great superhero signs they put up by our Bishop Wiki entrance. We couldn't agree more. And we didn't want to let another episode go by without recognizing the amazing certified nursing assistants at the Wesley Village CareLink team. Not only have they been supporting our nursing team, but they have been working tirelessly to protect the health and well being of all of our residents at Wesley Heights, Crosby Commons, and Lifestyle Transitions. Here's a shout out to the Wesley Village CareLink CNAs. Arterine Thompson, Graciela Lopez, Karen Hughes, Guadalupe Alarcon, Tanya Allen, Bozena Chudecki, Trina Weaver, Jessica Torciello, Yvette Ramos, Andrea Melger, Carol White, Mary McGinnis, Colleen Billingham, Karen Thompson, Elizabeth Garcia, Joylyn Jarrett Smith, Christine Griffiths, Marie Carmen Jacqui Luis, Carol Caliste, Marsha Glassford, Joni Farquharson, Hazel Smith, Simone Simpson, Edeline Noger, Yvonne Turner, Evelyn Eugene, Donna Elioff, Florice Jean Jacques Pierre, Yolaine Florstein, Motisha Cheatham, Coralie Davis, Annie Dominique, Marquise Kali, 
Shirley Desencios and Jess Adorno. Our nurses at Middlewoods of Farmington were getting a whole lot of love this week from friends and family members on the Middlewoods Facebook page, so we thought it was only fitting to feature them as our caring superheroes this week. Middlewood staff shared, we are so lucky to have these three amazing nurses here at Middlewoods, Linda, Mary Ellen, and Lakeisha. They take the time to know each and every resident. They are diligent, compassionate, and motivating. Thank you, ladies. Maria P. confirms their words. As a retired nurse residing at Middlewoods, I completely agree. They are dedicated professionals who care deeply about the health and safety of this community. They listen, counsel, and guide and nurture. Nurses are not accustomed to maintaining a social distance six feet from any human being. Linda, Mary Ellen, and Lakeisha make six feet feel like six inches. I hope you know how much you are appreciated. Thank you. Before we wrap up, we'd like to send out a few shout outs of thanks to the Bic Corporation, the Ford Motor Company, and the Greater Valley Chamber for their recent donations of face shields to help keep our team safe. Thanks also to the Shelton Republican Town Committee for their donation of chocolate treats for our Bishop Wiki team in celebration of National Skilled Nursing Care Week. And thanks to UMH board member and nurse, Allison Chris for the candy bags and the thank you notes for our Wesley Village team members. And thank you to all of our UMH board members and volunteers who've been supportive of our entire team during these difficult times. We appreciate all that you do for United Methodist Homes. So now we'll wrap up this episode with a few friendly reminders for all of our faithful viewers out there. First of all, Please remember to practice social distancing. We've all heard that social distancing saves lives, so let's be diligent about this. Here's a few good examples of how to wear your mask. And a few not so good examples. Secondly, make sure to wear your mask properly over the nose and mouth to protect yourself and others. Hmm. Hmm. And last but not least, be sure to keep washing those hands. And remember, we want to hear your good news stories. I know what you're thinking. Blah, blah, blah. No, really, we want to hear your good news stories. Don't hide them from us. Send them to us at goodnews at umh Dot org so we can share them with the rest of our UMH friends and family. Thanks everyone. With that, I'm Marissa Salveson. And I'm Beth Bemis and this has been UMH's GNN. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay healthy. Bye.